Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist, and uh, I have a lot of books on how to draw cartoons, and uh, anatomy, and figure drawing, and animals, all sorts of things. And today, uh, here we go, my trusty blue pencil. I use this to sketch before we, we finish up a pose, and then we finish it in, dark, in a dark pencil. I've been asked by people, let me get a better piece of paper here, if I can show them something a little on the challenging side. They like the, the simple stuff that they can follow along, but for concepts, they'd like to see something a little more challenging. So I thought I would do that today. A three-quarter view of a man's face. I've especially gotten this request on Facebook for my Facebook friends. So we're just going to start here, and I'll show you how we add the nuances. We square the chin, like so. Here's the angle of the jaw. It's actually called the angle of the jaw. It's an anatomical term. The neck connects right around here where the ear is. And we're just gonna, just gonna use this for placement right now. And I put the eyes, just bracket the eyes in. And we'll go back and darken this in. And right here, where they meet, that's the, that's the bridge of the nose. The eyebrows always start high and go low. The top of the eyelid is rounder, and the bottom is straighter. So we'll bring this around. We're just going to indicate Just indicate approximately where the nose is right now. We'll go back in and fill it in. You can erase all you want. You don't get any points for getting it right the first time. See, like here, I think the chin may have a little too much, so I'll take a little off of it. I'll also put a little shading underneath it because we're looking a little bit up at them. Now watch, here's where it gets a little bit more subtle. We're going to build out the brow of the face, right here. This goes in, it's called the orbit of the eye. Build out the cheekbone area slightly. And there's a muscle that comes around the lips right here. See that con those contours? There's a reason for them. They follow a familiar path. Over here, that's where that cheekbone starts again. And here's that contour on the other side. Where the mouth goes is where the angle of the jaw is, right there. Top of the eyebrow is where the top of the ear is, and the bottom of the nose is where the bottom of the ear is. So make that adjustment. Yeah, just throw a haircut right here, a little bit of a haircut going on. Right here where the eyebrow bends in, that's the side of the face. You've got that sort of little sharp angle here. The nose is a plane, and this is the side of the nose, this is the front of the nose, so you need that side plane. All right, now let's use the pencil, darker pencil, and put it together and see how it, co how it goes. So we put the pupil in there like that, we darken around it. You have a little bit of a crease right here, for the eyeball, like so. Far eyeball is almost cut off by the bridge in the nose because of perspective. You notice how the top eyelid almost cuts off the pupil in half. It's that close. So thin on one side and thick down here. I 
also the crease over the eye. It starts to bend down this way. This right here is where the the uh, sorry the bone is. Here's the cartilage, and then there's more cartilage down here. So it goes bump slightly in and out for that nose down here. So this is called the ball of the nose down here. And remember, we, we have to draw underneath that nostril a little bit to give it its thickness. Here's the, the bottom plane of the nose. I see how those contours come in here. Yeah, let's shade this also. Show the thickness of it. That gives it the look of thickness. See that? just focus on that ear a little now. This is called the tragus. Everyone knows that ear flap. But there's something else right here. Ca uh, catty corner, that's the antitragus. That's what it's called, the antitragus. And along the hairline, we'll just bring this in a little bit. And not too much to the back of the head here because it's the three-quarter view. If it were a profile, you'd see more of the back of the head, but it is not. So since it's facing toward the left, we kind of cut off a little bit of that. And a little shadow under the hair, a little darker. It's a cast shadow. Again, showing some thickness this way. Oops. And a little bit of shadow under here. Here too, because the cast shadow is being created from overhead. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. If you like that, please share it. And I have new videos every week. I hope you'll subscribe. Take care. Bye bye. Now, I'm the author of many popular how to draw books on everything from cartooning to manga. I upload new videos each week, so please subscribe and enjoy.